the day we're taking a look at these NCAAF matches, which are happening on Saturday, September 10, 2022. And giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 360 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. South Alabama vs Central Michigan. The CMU offense seemed to get things rolling late in the game last week. Look for the offense to continue their success against an overmatched South Alabama defense. CMU is 6-0 ATS in their last six, and QB Daniel Richardson will look to make it seven. Richardson passed for over 400 yards last week and will continue his success against a Jaguars defense that is still looking to gel after bringing on numerous transfers. South Alabama will keep it close but will be unable to get a stop when needed. Our team pick is CMU minus 4.5 points. This game will be and NBSP, a battle between two offenses who have yet to be challenged this season. Both defenses will continue to struggle as Daniel Richardson will look to put up big plays and big numbers. QB Carter Bradley will do his part to keep it close after amassing four touchdowns a week ago. The over has hit on six of South Alabama's last nine games, and another shootout is in the works. Our total pick is over 59 points. Western Michigan, WMU, vs. Ball State. Western Michigan travels to Ball State on Saturday afternoon, hoping to have a better outcome than the team had on Friday night in East Lansing against the Spartans of Michigan State. Despite the loss, the Broncos showed some promise against a top-15 team on the road. Redshirt freshman quarterback Jack Salapak handled the pressure of a packed opposing stadium, throwing for 193 yards and rushing for 36 yards in his first-ever start. Tight end Blake Bosma, another redshirt freshman, had five catches for 35 yards, and running back Sean Tyler was solid on the ground, with 68 yards on 13 carries. Wide receivers Corey Grooms and Jelani Galloway showed out with 111 combined yards receiving as well. The Broncos were one or two plays away from making the Spartan squirm last Friday night. Two costly fumbles in the red zone led to a score that belies the efforts of Western Michigan. Western Michigan has a far more experienced team than the Cardinals and gave a better team, the Spartans, a better game on the road than the Cardinals did against Tennessee. Western Michigan will likely set their game plan around stopping the pass, as Ball State didn't show much of a ground attack in the opener. WMU, meanwhile, was far more balanced and can lead on their ground game, much more than Ball State should be able to do. Last season, a far more experienced Ball State team upset the Broncos on the road, 45-20. The Broncos will be ready this year and are far more suited to handle this younger, inexperienced Cardinals team giving up points on the road. Our team pick is Western Michigan minus 6.5 points. Both teams are coming off of games against Power 5 opponents. Ball Street is still looking for an identity, while WMU knows what they want to do. They will run the ball and play tough defense. These things together are a recipe for a low-scoring Saturday afternoon. WMU will dominate time of possession and put this one away early. Our total pick is over 59 points. Marshall vs Notre Dame. Marshall has made the jump from Conference USA to the Sun Belt Conference and they have been picked to finish second in the East Division. Marshall had a cupcake in their first game as they beat Norfolk State by a score of 55-3, but now we will see what this team is really all about as they take a huge leap up in competition. They were favored by 4 points last week, but are now dogs of 20.5. That is a huge swing. Marshall has just 11 starters back from last year's team that went 7-6, but still, they were not phased in Game 1. Five starters are back from an offense that put up 33.0 PPG a year ago, but they grabbed some much-needed confidence in their opener by rolling up 612 yards and 55 points on the Spartans. I can say that it will not be that easy against this Notre Dame defense. The running game was impressive as they rank for 380 yards on 51 carries, with Ethan Payne leading the way at 113 yards and two TDs. Henry Colombi had a strong game as he hit 24 of his 26 pass attempts for 205 yards and a TD, but he must now face one of the best secondaries in the nation. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish are off a 21-10 loss to Ohio State, but they did lead the game at the half before running out of gas down the stretch. 
the big problem was an offense that looked out of sorts, especially in the second half as they scored zero points and had just 72 yards of total offense after the break. Notre Dame needs to get their offense going, and they are hoping that it will happen against a weaker defense in this one. Tyler Butchner has taken over the quarterback position, and he has some growing to do. Butchner made his first career start in the loss to the Buckeyes and he hit just 10 of his 18 pass attempts for 177 yards with no TDs and no ints. Notre Dame has some good receivers and a solid offensive line, but still, he struggled in the contest. Notre Dame has been known as having a strong running game, but they had just 76 yards on the ground in the loss and that has to change. It would help Butchner a lot if Notre Dame could get their ground game going. They are expected to work on it more in this one, but Mashal Does have a solid defensive line. Last week I had the Irish plus the points against the Buckeyes, and it was a winner. I will come right back with them here as I feel that Notre Dame is an angry team that wants to show the nation they are for real. They played very well in the first half against the powerful Buckeyes and are ready to put in a full game. Marshall won easily last week, they were also expected to as the herd was 40-point favorites in the game. Now they have to play a real team and one that has one of the best defenses in the nation. The Thundering Herd have just five starters back on offense, and Notre Dame held Ohio State to just three points at the half and 21 for the game. The Marshall defense is tough, but the Irish will find their running game in this one and that will allow Butchner to get going as well. The bottom line here is that I do not see Marshall scoring enough to keep this one close. Lastly, the Irish are 8 1 at TS in their last nine games overall. Our team pick is Notre Dame minus 20.5 points. The Thundering Herd were a high-scoring team last season and they picked up where they left off, scoring 55 points in their first game. Marshall played well offensively against the Spartans, scoring 55 points in the win. They threw for 232 yards and rushed for 380 yards in the win. Henry Colombi completed 92% of his passes for 205 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. Ethan Payne and Kalen Laburn combined for 215 rushing yards and four touchdowns, while Talek Keaton led the team with 71 receiving yards. Marshall played well defensively in the first game, giving up three points, while holding the Spartans to three points. They will need another complete defensive effort if they want to pull off the upset. They obviously won't score as much as they did in their last game, but if they are able to run the ball efficiently, they will score at least 10 points in this game. Notre Dame scored 10 points in their first game. They threw for 177 yards and ran for 76 yards in the loss. Tyler Butchner completed 55% of his passes for 177 yards. Chris Tyree led the team with 28 rushing yards, while Lorenzo Styles led the team with 54 receiving yards. Notre Dame played well defensively in the first half, but they struggled in the second half, giving up the final 14 points of the game. They gave up 395 total yards and didn't play well against the run. They will need to do a better job if they want to get the win. The Fighting Irish were held to 10 points in their last game, more than 20 points below last season's average. They have a very good ground game and they're facing a defense that struggled against the run last season, so expect them to take advantage of Marshall's run defense and put up enough points to push the score over the total. Our total pick is over 51 points.